other rolling 5431 hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be creating a tea interchange so i've been browsing around youtube lately and i noticed that the tea interchange is uh, not commonly done by most youtube creators and i think uh, this approach to the tea interchange will make your city's uh, traffic flows a lot smoother so as a disclaimer this uh, interchange is meant for rural traffic it's not meant for heavy highway interchanges at all so if you have a small city and you want a nice looking smooth T interchange I think this will be the right video for you but if you're looking for a stack interchange or a cloverleaf interchange then this might not be it okay so we'll be starting off with the common T interchange so the one I did a while ago was uh, not realistic in real life. That's currently from my city. This is just a basic uh, T interchange with just uh, two roads intersecting at one point and that bus just jumped over there. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is the basic T interchange. There is no traffic light whatsoever. And this is not an ideal design for... Uh, for low to medium traffic because it causes uh, vehicles to stop at the interchange so this might not work if the traffic is slightly uh, more than what you're expecting if it's super low traffic this will work as well but if it's on a busy interchange like this it won't be uh, as quite effective or smoother than what you are planning to do and uh, we have created a second type of interchange which includes oh not yet uh, we will be modifying this basic T interchange by adding uh, uh, lane connectors so that uh, the cars will go to to their respective paths because a while ago we just added two lanes now we're gonna add uh, three lanes for this one and hopefully it will work okay so traffic is slightly smoother and uh, cars are no longer uh, sharing the left turn or the right turn from that interchange or from that road so again this is this may not be ideal for vehicles coming from the right side of the road to uh, to the one next 90 degrees to it see as you can see the cars over there they are stopping so this is good for super low traffic flows as well okay so that the next type of interchange we're gonna do is the T interchange with uh, T, T intersection with slip lanes so I, sp I speed up this video a little bit just so it'll be faster so uh, make sure you have Road Anarchy mod installed so that you can get the best results for it. Otherwise, it may uh, it, you may have difficulty in trying to design your roads. Uh, this script is very impromptu, so <laughs> I'm stuttering a lot. And what we're trying to do is to add slip lanes on both ends so that uh, traffic can can go from uh, to the right lane without uh, stopping so you only need to stop when you're trying to go left okay we're gonna adjust the roads a little bit by applying uh, lane mathematics okay we're also using lane connectors here as well so that uh, the cars will know which lane to turn uh, left or right with okay When I first discovered the uh, TMPE mod, this really changed uh, the gameplay forever. Because if you don't use this mod, it's very hard for you to control the traffic flow in your city. Also with the node connector and the uh, intersection marking tool, this is very useful for aesthetic purposes. Like uh, As you can see here, we are trying to put uh, lanes in each of the slip lanes the lining markers 
okay this is a way to make your city more uh, realistic so you can use a solid line or a dashed one then you can add the line markers once you have placed the link connectors Also, one thing I like about the intersection marking tool is that you can add the fillers to it. So you can, uh, you can add a an island in between the exit and the main highway, so that it will look a little bit nicer. I believe you can use a solid line or a, a chevron stripes or even a solid color. This is, very, this is a really game changer in City Skylands where you get to uh, fully design your intersections. Alright. So this is what it looks like. A basic T intersection with slip lanes. Traffic uh, going to the right will be a lot smoother, but traffic going to the left might be uh, might cause some congestion problems especially if it's high density traffic like as you can see here there's a lot of stops from buses going to the left this is still good for low to medium uh, traffic flow but there is a better uh, highway uh, Road, uh, road intersection that we can apply to this so if all else fails we can use a roundabout back when I haven't discovered any mods I had difficulty in designing a roundabout I just tried to measure it uh, I, I just tried to measure it without even uh, using the, 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 the grid or the line but you can just apply the half half circle or the one fourth circle technique. Okay, so we'll be adding slip lanes to each of the ends of it, and we will be applying the same uh, procedures that we did with the previous uh, solution. So, one technique that you can use to prevent your roundabouts from messing up is you can uh, add a cross at the middle of the roundabout. Because sometimes the roundabout gets deformed when you're trying to connect it with uh, the slip lanes. So you can safely remove it and make sure that the directions of each uh, lane are smooth. I use the move it mod to uh, make the lanes level. Alright, there we go. Make sure that you can you can also curve the slip lanes to make to make it smoother or more realistic. So there we go. It's now nice and flat. We can also use the node controller mod to make the uh, lanes more aligned. And there we go. We're using the uh, intersection marking tool again. I mean the node connector. Okay, now we can connect the lanes. So applying lane mathematics as well so that the uh, traffic will be evenly distributed among the lanes. Uh, disclaimer, I am not a traffic engineer or urban planner by the way. I just get my guides from uh, from other good sources as well. Okay, now we have this nice roundabout. We have to improve some of the aesthetics to it. So we can use the intersection marking tool to add 
uh, some of the finer details of it. Actually, this took a long... This is the longest part of the video, but if you want to see how I made the markings, you can always watch this, or if you don't want to, you can skip it to uh, the set time frame. There we go. That's the filler I've been uh, saying a while ago. So you can customize the uh, the, the, the laning to make it more uh, realistic. Also, using a roundabout requires a huge amount of land, depending the, depending on the size of your city. So, if you're building a T interchange in the middle of a city, you may need to demolish some of the surrounding buildings. But in this case, we are near the coast or in a uh, unpopulated area. Then the land space is not uh, restricted at all. I could have used music in this video, but uh, I can't find any good royalty ones. I can't create my own music, so I'll just <laughs> use my voice to narrate everything. Okay, more uh, intersection markings. Alright, to make it more realistic. Here in the Philippines, uh, there are roundabouts, but the roundabouts here are... Uh, not properly used because uh, I don't know if people here don't know how to use roundabouts at all, at all they are not giving lanes to one another or sometimes the traffic here in the Philippines is too congested to apply even the biggest roundabouts the biggest roundabout I know so far in the Philippines is the uh, Quezon Memorial Circle it's a six lane, I think it's a six lane roundabout and it's super congested. Just a fun fact for my country. Anyway, going on with the uh, markers. It's really quite uh, hard to grasp at first in using this mod because I'm using TMP, I'm using Road Anarchy, I'm using Intersection Marking. I've been playing City Skyland since I was in uh, second year high school or third year high school, which is 2016. I've learned to use mods when I was in uh, fourth year or third year college. So I played van vanilla for two years and I, I learned mods recently up till now. I used to have a very sluggish laptop and I only got a gaming PC this year, so I can fully maximize this game. Anyway, here's the final product of the T in intersection. I believe this uh, roundabout works well with my city since it's continuous in terms of the traffic flow. There is minimal stopping. I don't think I'll be... Uh, needing a stack or a clover leaf interchange for now, cause I think this would this will suffice or suffice. Sorry, my English is quite bad. I try my best. Anyway, this is the uh, one of this is one of the best. Not the, not the best. Uh, one one of one of the better solutions in solving your traffic in your city. So if you don't have the patience for the mods, it's okay. You can always have try uh, different techniques in mm, designing your interchange. You can add bypass roads, you can design a road hierarchy. This is just one of the solutions that you can try. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.